usually on our gardening program, we're talking about plants. Occasionally, we'll talk about insects and other animals, but today I'd just like to talk to you about another kingdom of organisms that we sometimes encounter in the garden. I'm talking about the kingdom fungi, the different fungus organisms we have around in our garden from time to time. And right down here, we've got a great example. This is a puffball mushroom, and it's not the typical toadstool type of mushroom. It doesn't have the flat cap. The whole thing is sort of this big globe, and inside here are thousands of little spores. And when this dries and splits open, or if something comes along and bumps it, we'll get a lot of smoke like effect coming from the mushroom. Those are the little spores. They're so tiny that they are carried about on the wind. They're sort of like seeds and they blow around and they land somewhere then they germinate and grow more fungus. Now like any typical fungus the majority of the organism is underground. What we see here is just the reproductive structure of the fungus below ground probably several square feet below here. It's like a network of little strands of tissue. The uh, mycelium of the fungus form the bulk of the organism and whenever it's ready to reproduce it just sends up the mushrooms. Now the typical mushrooms are the flat topped structures and they disperse their spores whenever rain hits the top and those spores are released from under the cap. Well, I've got another really interesting type of fungus that I want to show you that has a unique way of dispersing its spores. This type of fungus is called the stinkhorn fungus. And if you're wondering why it has that name, all you have to do is get close to it and take a whiff. It has a very foul odor and you can see that they come out they're sort of shaped like a little orange or peachy colored horn and up at the top is the spore mass it's this dark slimy gooey stuff on the end of the uh, the stink horn and the bad smell attracts flies it attracts carrion beetles and things like that that come up and they 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 root around in it they crawl around in it they may eat some of the uh, the fungus but they get those spores all over them and then they go flying off and they help spread the spores of the fungus. The stinkhorn fungus will appear usually in late summer and fall. We see them sometimes in the mulch in our garden. Sometimes they'll just pop up out of the grass and they live on organic matter that is decaying below ground and they don't do any type of damage to our plants or to our gardens. So it's really just something neat to look at out in the garden. The stinkhorn fungus, very interesting part of nature. Mm -hmm. 